TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. Tim Palega here for PV Power Up, and on this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about commercial rooftops and metal roofs. Commercial roofs typically don't have shingles, and they often are flat. There are some large sloped metal roofs and some sloped single ply roofs. A single ply roof can be made out of TPO or EPDM. Metal roofs aren't as common, but they're a high-end, high-quality roof, very good for solar installations. And there are also built-up roofs along with additional other types of roofs. And we're not going to spend a lot of detail on built-up roofs and all the different kinds. We're just going to go a little bit over the concepts of what you need to consider when you're putting a solar system on a commercial roof. Large single-ply roofs have different types of decks. Some of them have metal decks, some of them have wood decks. What's underneath the PV system is really critical, especially when it comes to how much, how many pounds per square foot that roof can hold. If it's a plywood roof, and you'll find that typically in the Northwest and in the West, and sometimes even in the Southern parts of the United States, as you move into the Midwest and the Northeast and the Southwest or Southeast, you'll find more metal decks. And if it's a wooden deck, you still may find insulation on top of it and then a roof membrane. If it's a metal deck, you'll almost always find some type of insulation. And then if there's several layers of roofs, you might have what's called a dividing board. This is TPO fully adhered, that means glued to a dividing board or a divorcing board, sometimes they're called. This is an EPDM roof. EPDM is uh, a rubber roof and this is glued, fully glued to a piece of insulation. Now there may be several different uh, layers that build up a roof and sometimes they're fully glued and sometimes they're mechanically adhered, which means there are screws with large washers that go through the roofing membrane, the TPO, EPDM, and then hold it to the roof. Now one of the roofs we really like for single ply roofs are PVC roofs. The reason we like them is you can get them with a 20 to 25 year full cover coverage warranty on them. This is a sample of a PVC roof that was installed and on the roof for 30 years in Oregon. So as you can see that it held up very well. And that's really important when you're putting a solar system on a roof that's guaranteed or warranted to last for 20 or more years. We looked at the sample of PVC roofing from IB Roof Besides having white colors, and that's really important if you're trying to get your energy star ratings, but there's several residential applications or large commercial applications where the customer may want a colored roof. Now that would rule out a technology like Solyndra where you're hoping to get that reflection off of the roof to get part of your solar energy, but there are good reasons that the customer may want color, and that's one of the things you can also do with PVC is put on a different colored roof rather than just white or black. A lot of large flat commercial roofs are being installed with that single ply membrane. Some roofs are still being installed with a built up roof. A built up roof has several layers of felt and maybe some tar and there's different techniques and different styles of built up roofs. The reason they're not as common today is because they don't meet the Energy Star rating. They tend to have a dark surface. This here is an example of a Tremco roof that does have a reflective surface even though it's a built up roof and to meet the Energy Star rating it's really important that you have that white roof but it also allows you to use some technologies like Solyndra so when you're looking at the installation if it has a dark roof you can't use that type of technology it's a good idea to have a general understanding of what the pros and cons are of different roofing types the list is exhaustive and we're certainly not going to go over that today. But you should really pay close attention to how old the roof is and who installed it and how long its life expectancy is. That is critical in deciding whether the roof needs to be replaced or how long, how long it might last once the solar system is installed on it. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovative Solar a turnkey integrator and distributor of PV modules, inverters, and all the additional equipment to install a state-of-the-art photovoltaic system. Visit Innovative Solar at I-N-O-V-A-T-E-U-S 
solar.com to find a dealer, purchase PV equipment, inquire about dealerships, or speak with a salesperson about Innovative Solar's turnkey services, including feasibility studies, engineering, construction, and financing.